Throughout most of the Caribbean, homosexuality is still criminalized. So even though people are not getting often arrested for homosexuality in any of the countries in the Caribbean, it does set the groundwork where private acts of violence and discrimination can flourish. Human Rights First started working in the Caribbean because we are aware of the problems facing LGBT people. And because Human Rights First focuses on American leadership, there are a lot of opportunities. It's everything from development aid to trade and tourism to our bilateral and multilateral relationships. We've been active in Jamaica for about a year. More recently, we've been expanding a bit to look at issues in St. Lucia, in Belize, and the Dominican Republic. I see our role really as connecting with activists on the ground and understanding from them what they think will be most helpful. Maria Fontenelle, I am the Communications and Advocacy Manager with United and Strong in St. Lucia. For the LGBT community generally in St. Lucia on the ground, I would say the, the most pressing issue would be empowerment because there are lots of violations happening but people are not empowered to, one, recognize those violations, and number two, to seek help for those violations. My name is John Waters Gethea. Um, I'm from the Dominican Republic, and I work with an NGO that's called COIN, the Central Orientación y Investigación Integral. We do have quite a lot of problems with um, arbitrary arrests of, of LGBT persons. We, we do have um, also issues in terms of discrimination, um, bullying in the schools. My name is Yalna Broderick. I am from Jamaica. I am the Programs and Administration Director for Quality of Citizenship Jamaica. The violence that we, we see is underreported. There are situations where people are homeless. There are situations where people are discriminated against for employment. President Obama specifically mentioned LGBT rights when he was in Jamaica. That's something we had pushed for along with other advocacy organizations. He actually did that partly by referring to one of our close partners, Angeline Jackson. Several years ago, when Angeline was 19, she and a friend were kidnapped, held at gunpoint, sexually assaulted. And as a woman and as a lesbian, justice and society were not always on her side. But instead of remaining silent, she chose to speak out and started her own organization to advocate for women like her. There are definitely, in many of these countries, leaders who are starting to stand up, there's religious figures who are starting to stand up. One of our goals is to bring them together to help drive us towards a, a better life for all people in the Caribbean. We think the U.S. can do a lot to help support those efforts.